How's it going everyone? So today I'm gonna to show you guys an at-home back workout that you can do with just dumbbells. Before we begin though, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me or buying some cool fitness gear on Amazon, have a look at my description box. So let's get started, you guys. The workout that we will be doing, we will be doing quite a few exercises. Some of them you may not have seen and uh, I will tell you what muscle group each one hits for your back. So the first exercise that we are going to do is the one arm dumbbell row. Now I want to do this exercise because a lot of people do it incorrectly and they don't actually target your lats. That's the point that you're trying to do. You're trying to hit your lats. Most people train it. They're actually hitting their biceps more than your lats. So when you're doing this, instead of raising your arm directly up, what you want to do is you want to really exaggerate the pull and put the dumbbell Instead of raising it up like this, you wanna put the dumbbell in your pocket. That's a great, great mind-muscle connection tip. Put it in your pocket so you can see the row. You see how exaggerated it is? But feel that lat, just touch it when you're doing it. Feel that difference. Now do it when you're doing this. You don't feel any lat activation at all. You're just really working your biceps, maybe some of your rear delt. So again, what you want to do is really put that dumbbell in your pocket. Put it in your pocket wherever your phone is and just, again, really exaggerate that pull. You're not going to be able to use as much weight, but that's perfectly fine. We're trying to train our lats. That's the main point of this. Again, that as compared to what most people do, they'll do this. So again, you can see the complete difference. Very, very big difference really do that exercise properly once you do it properly you guys it's you're actually gonna feel your lats because a lot of people email me and they're saying I don't feel my back workouts I'm like you should really feel it I feel my back workouts all the time so the next exercise we will be doing is the commando row the commando row is gonna work your upper back and it's gonna work some of your stabilizing muscles in your shoulders as well because you will be stabilizing. I love this exercise, it's phenomenal. You will work a little bit of your lats as well. So all you're gonna do is get into a push-up position and ro start rowing. Again, try to put that in your back pocket. You guys probably wanna be able to actually see the workout, I apologize. So again, Get into your push-up position, you guys, and start rowing. It's a, it's a phenomenal exercise. You will use your upper back. You will use your lats. Try to put that in your back pocket and your upper back and your shoulder stabilizing muscles because you have to hold that movement. Commando rows, phenomenal, phenomenal exercise. Okay, the next exercise we will be doing is gonna be the dumbbell one arm pronated row. So what you wanna do is get a bench. Just put it at a little bit of an incline, find whatever works for you. Now you're gonna sit on it. And now what you want to do is you want to pronate your hand. So if you guys do not know, this is supinated, this is pronated. Supinated, pronated. So again, pronated, just your palm is facing down. Supinated, your palm's facing up. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing pronated. So we want our palms like this. <clears throat> it's going to be one arm. We're going to lay on here. And all we're going to do is lift it straight up. This is going to work your rear delt to you guys. And again, we're not trying to put it in our back pocket, we're just trying to lift it straight up. This is really gonna develop your rear delts. If you have bad rear delts, do this exercise, you will feel them like crazy. <clears throat> again, the key is tempo. Don't go super fast. Try to get a good tempo, get a good squeeze. Really feel your rear delt working. And mine's pretty pumped, I can actually feel it working. Crazy exercise, most people don't do this. They don't sit on the bench, they'll just do them standing up. By sitting on the bench, you take away all of your lower back, your core, all that stabilized muscle, and you really allow yourself to just work on the muscle that we're trying to hit, which is the rear delts. If you do not have developed rear delts, you won't get that 3D look, your back really won't pop out. So that's why I highly recommend doing the pronated 
incline, one arm rows. Okay, now we're gonna be doing our next exercise, you guys. It's gonna be the dumbbell incline lever row. So kind of similar to what we were doing before, we're gonna still lay on the bench just like this. Now, you're gonna be using a neutral grip. So again, that's pronated, supinated, neutral is just like this. Neutral grip, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in our back pocket like this. Now this really allows you to work your rhomboids, your traps, your lats, basically works your whole upper body. And why I love this is because it takes away all of the core stabilization needed. So if you guys have weak lats, a lot of people do have weak lat or weak core, sorry about that. If you have a really weak core, it's gonna be harder for you to overload because your core is gonna give out before your actual back does. And then you're gonna start throwing the weight up. By doing this, you're gonna be able to train your lats while you try to fix your core or get your core stronger. Again, you can see my lats flexing. You can see my upper back working. Phenomenal exercise. I highly recommend using a bench when you guys are doing them. It's just, it's gonna make it that much easier. Okay, the next exercise, you guys, so we hit our rhomboids, we hit our teres majors, we hit our lats, we even hit some of our shoulder stabilization muscles, hit our rhomboids, rear delts. Now we're gonna really attack our traps. You gotta have big traps. Your traps actually come all the way down here, you guys. Lower traps, middle traps, and you do have your upper traps, what most people know of, that really get your neck popping. So we're gonna be doing kneeling shrugs. Why do I like kneeling shrugs? because it completely takes away all the body movement. Most people, they're shrugging five, 600 pounds. I'll see people doing it and they'll be using their legs. That's not, the point of the exercise is to use the muscle group. And you can see my traps flexing. What you wanna do is instead of going like this up, you actually wanna come up and then flex it back. So come up and then flex it back. You can see the difference. That's how you actually contract your traps as opposed to what most people do. They just come up like this. You don't want to do that up and back and really allow your mind muscle connection and get the feeling of squeezing your traps. So that's the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video, share it, follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Thanks for watching.